Oh my God. She's back again. She's back. The worst client ever. Total nightmare. Faye. Um, we've got some long ass nails, but we're going to concentrate today on 3D flowers, how to encapsulate them, make them look all gorgeous. We've got some gorgeous summery colours, because yeah, summer's coming. So they say, still waiting. You've got some work to do on these girls, just saying. I know I've got some work to do. Just so, saying. we've done a few flowers already. We've laid down the colour that we're going to use, well, that we, you know, we are using. Um, I want to tell you the colours that we've used in the background. So we've got Glitter Armour in Shimmer. Sorry, not Shimmer. I was going to say there's no Shimmer in that. Summer Punch. How perfect. Las Vegas, my favourite place in the entire world. Um, could easily live there. Love Affair. And then we've got, um, from Glitter Armour also, we've got Eve. Now this is, if you look at this gorgeous glitter, I love this because you can layer it on so many different things, different colours. And because look what it looks like on its own. It's just like a gorgeous um, Aurora Borealis, but it's got that pinky, champagne-y gold tinge to it and a little bit of blue. But over the top of this colour, you really do see that gold. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on the end of here because Faye was moaning that she wanted a little bit here. So, well, you, you can't know. put it on four and then not put it on one. Okay. I did put it on, but you wanted more. That's fine. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Jen dragged it down. I know. There's no, there's no flies on this, girl. So look how nice it looks over those colours. Beautiful. See, you didn't do that at all, you little <laughs> bit. I know. I didn't say I didn't do it. I know, I, I did know. it on purpose. All right. Whatever. Right, so it's 3D time. We will need these colours, though. So we're going to utilise the colours that we've used in the background and also use them in the flowers. We're also going to use a white. I love white because it's just going to contrast beautifully against the colours. So always think about your colours contrasting. So there's no point me putting a pink flower on top of these because you'll just kind of lose it a little bit. I'm not saying it wouldn't look nice, but I want it to really pop off the nail. So when it comes to 3D, you want to work a little bit drier. So when we pick up the bead, I am actually going to pick up white and then go in to the yellow. So we have a double dip application. Pop that on and then quite flat with the brush, I'm just going to move this around into a bit of a dodgy croissant. You know, if I was going to make croissants, that's what it looked like. <laughs> so don't ever ask me. Then with the point of the brush towards the middle, which is here, we're going to pat and press at an angle, not really flat. So we're making the thinness here and then we've got a sharp thickness here. So press, 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 and then I'm going to pull pull, pull and drag through to create a lovely little petal shape. Now at this point you can adjust anything and then you can also add like I feel like it needs a little bit more yellow here so I can get quite a wet bead and just kind of paint it, paint it in like that. Oh no, well, I'm going to have to put my tweezers back in the purse. Why? Because I can't get cards on the machine. Oh the bank card? Yeah. Yeah. Long nails, mm. bank card issues. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that before and it swallowed my card. I was few. I've done it. No, I know you have. You told me the, what's it trick? Mm, definitely need the tweezers. Or somebody with you at all times. Oh, I literally shouted down the street at someone. <laughs> have you? Have you really? You like, you like a carer? Yeah, try to get the so you need a carer with you at all times? Yeah, try to get... So having try. long nails <laughs> yeah. comes with... <laughs> comes with problems. Yeah. Well, yeah. We said we were going to do a comedy sketch on this, I think, at one point. <laughs> Did yeah. you just think I'm a joke? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? No. Well, but it does, it does come with problems, you're right. Um, I've seen, you know, people make these little stickers that you can put on your card and then you pull it out. I can't remember who makes them, though, I'd have to have a look. probably get them on Amazon or something like that. Get everything on Amazon these days. If you want to add any like extra folds, you want to do that while mm. the product mm. is still mouldable, but almost set. Right, what I want you to do is flip you around like that. Why are you being difficult? I'm not being difficult. It's not me that's the difficult one. Oh. Have you not realised this yet? <laughs> so again, in there, make this like little croissant shape. 
not so a, you want to clean your brush, thing. and by the time you've cleaned your brush and made it all nicely pointed, your label come in, and the product will be set enough. Yeah. Well, it'll be semi set. Oh, semi! Don't want that word. Um, it'll be <laughs> partly set. Yeah, it's a bit like the word moist, isn't it? Yeah, what? semi and moist, not good words. No. Moist. So we've got three petals there. You they do not need to look exactly the same. And it all depends what kind of flower you're doing. And you know me with flowers, I know all the descriptions and the names to the flowers now. You could write a book on it. Do you know what? My nan gave me a book with all the flowers on. I'm like, I've misplaced yeah, it. Yeah, hers was factual, yours would be fictional. Yeah, this would just be like um, the one that comes from Kirsty's brain. This is a snoz gobbler. A <laughs> snoz gobbler. So we have the snoz gobbler. We're gonna do another petal here, just cause I kind of feel like that's where it would fit. And I love how we can just fold this over in between this little gap here. Do you know what I did once? I got a pair of, um, they were a bit like stripper shoes. They weren't stripper yeah. shoes, but they were really high platforms, which are quite fashionable at the minute. Did they have clear heels? They didn't have clear heels. Well, they weren't stripper shoes, though. They had... Stripper shoes were in fashion at the moment? No, like really big platforms and high heels. They are heels. in fashion yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Are they? Yeah, I can't walk in them, I'm sorry. God, I have um, charity shop to all mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're more bedroom shoes, I'm on. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> I got a pair of shoes and I actually covered the heel and the platform in 3D flowers. And you know what? I loved it. It was so therapeutic. I just really enjoyed myself because I do find doing things like the tedious. 3D. No, not tedious at all. So do you make custom shoes now, yeah? No, I'm not. Don't ask sure? me. I'm sure I'm not going to do that. No. Some custom acrylic Jordans? Mm. For Cass? For Cass. Mm, I don't think she'd wear them. She's too, like, I'm, I'm not cool enough for her. Not cool enough for my daughter at all. So, again, it's patting and pressing and keeping. So this is the centre of the flower. Keeping the point of the brush towards the centre and patting and pressing out. And I'm just going to do one little one here, I think. Just because I feel like it just needs just a little one there. You can see I'm just chasing it out to make it a little bit wider and then coming in with the tip. And then I can press. Don't forget, when you're doing 3D, where you put the bead, it's always going to move further back, so you need to consider that <clears> at all <throat> times. I'm going to get a little bit of the pink. I'm going to pat, 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 pat. And as I pat, 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 can you see it's getting thinner and thinner and thinner as I get less product. And we've added like a blush to it. And it makes it look like a little bit more realistic, I think. And again, a little bit of pink here. Pat, 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 pat. And as we move up that petal, we get less and less. Then what I'm going to do with the pink now is, I only want like a tiny bit, so I'm just going to let that sit underneath here. So it exaggerates where that petal is, and I'm going to do a few more of these. And I love colouring the 3D flowers this way as well. God, it is boring, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's dreadful. Really? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> people find really? this very therapeutic. Yeah, but don't forget, people who are watching this are probably people who actually want to do nails. <coughs> Not everybody, I suppose. No, we get lots of people watch that don't do nails. Oh yeah, we just watch it for you. Queen and No, no they're here for you, darling. They're here Whatever, for you. Yes. they're so here for you. So we've got a gorgeous little flower there. We're going to do another one just here. Says you. Got a gorgeous little flower. <laughs> so happy. The snoz gobbler. <laughs> yeah. A gorgeous little snoz gobbler. <laughs> I'm going to do less 
<laughs> Petals. Where did that word even come from? I don't Adam? know. Just uh, flat summit off Willy Wonka. A, I was going to say it sounds like Willy Wonka, doesn't it? Oh, something off Harry Potter. Yeah, exactly. Some random name. <laughs> Snozgobbler. I wonder if it is something. It might be. I've probably heard it somewhere. I'll have read a script somewhere and mm. it had Snozgobbler mm. in it. I'm worried about what, what script she's been reading. Snozgobbling. Snozgobbling. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was referring to Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, actually. How has that oh, got right, anything that, like, to do with it? Snow's Goblin. Yeah. Goblins are little. Oh, the goblins. Goblins. That's not Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> that's, that's a totally different film, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know what kind of seven, Snow White and Seven Dwarfs you mean. Hey, they're doing a remake. Are they? Yeah, the set's on fire. Haven't you seen it? What? They've been filming it and the, and the set's on... The, it's an animation. Yeah, no, they're doing, they're doing real life one. Everything, they? Oh, life. they're going to do a real life version. They are doing a real life one. Oh, that set's on fire, I was going to say. And the set has literally gone on fire. Really? Mm. Well, you, did they not put it out? Well, it almost looked like it was destroyed, in my opinion. Wow. I mean, I saw Chandel and Mel, as Nick would say to me. Sounds don't like believe everything you idea mean. for a film anyway, so... Snow White? Yeah. That's a bit dwarfist. And more, well, no, I bet you what they've done as well, because this is what they always do. I bet they've used... Uh, able-bodied people like no they haven't well, have they not no and shrunk them down no. sure yeah probably they did it in the hobbit didn't they yeah they did so again even with your little ones you want to keep the point towards the middle and you can get a smaller press i mean you can always spin it back if you need something a little bit firmer a bit bigger oh we've nearly broke that one let's just pat that one back in look at that pet it And I like to just create like a little bit of movement with some little folds. You can use your brush to do that. We're going to go in with the pink. Pat, 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 pat. Add that little bit of a blush. It's like we're putting makeup on it, I feel. And I'm just going to get the red, go right in the middle with the red, just to add a little bit more depth. Pat nice and flat, we don't want to add any, any bulk. Want to add a little bit more white here. Same again. You can practice this on nail tips as well until you're really confident at it. And then when you love them that much, you can put them on display, show your clients, say, look. And you need to get back to tips, you do. You need to get back to tips. You do. Display tips. You should not be displaying these on my nails. I know, because the thing you. is, I can't keep them. <laughs> and you go home with them and you show them off and you get all the glory. I know. <laughs> be interesting. It, it'll be interesting how many people ask me who's who's done them. Oh, yeah. It'll be interesting how many people tell me who they think has done them. Yeah, and you'll be like, no. Very insulted. And on this one, I'm just going to do a little dot in the middle of acrylic. And then I'm going to go upright with my brush and spin in and create like a little pocket in the middle. Ooh, oh, I think some others might need mm. that. I think this one, oh yeah. 
Oh no. Last a lot. What have I started? I don't know why I thought they were going to be, they weren't going to be encapsulated. No. What planet am I on? Planet Vajay. Well, clearly not this one, eh? This, I'm just going to do on this one like a few little, as if they like little leaves just coming away. I don't like leaves. Sure. No, I don't. I like Sorry, these please. leaves. I'm a leavist. <laughs> you bought the breakfast then? <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just going to drag some product down, use the tip of my brush to kind of like just knitting that up like there's a little tiny vine. You know, this doesn't need to be a true um, like realism. This is just to give the impression mm. of. And I'm using the brush on the side just to kind of press in so I get a bit of definition. But when I say using it on the side, this is flat. Do you see that the brush is pinched mm. here? Hold it like that and use it on the side and you can wait. A little bit of detail. I think one more here. Oh, I could just do this all day. Could you? Yeah. yeah. It takes too long. It's boring. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a grumpy bugger today. I know. I mean, look at what you're doing on the hand. And... I know. Well, I can't grumpy. see. Look at you. <laughs> you I can't, can't see. You can't see the screen, can you? No, I can't that? see the screen and I can't see my hand. Oh, this is frustrating, eh? It is, really. So I actually need to hurry up. And maybe you should put that screen on the end of your table there. Eh? Absolutely not. Because I'd be able to tell her, get that off. <laughs> get, get that off me nail. We aren't having that on. Have a look. <laughs> there we going. A little bit there, a little bit to the left. Oh, it's nice. Oh, I like the leaves, you know. See? Are you putting them on the others? <laughs> no, they might not need them. Let me look. Nice though, aren't they? Yeah. Ooh. Just like Easy. finish it off a bit, don't they? Let me see if they need, need any on You tell me. Probably one there. They don't take me five minutes then, do you? I've got two. I've got two. You've got two. Don't rush it. <laughs> don't rush it, but I real. Yeah. yeah, don't rush it, hurry up. No, I want some bling on. I know. Oh, sorry. I know you want bling. Can I get over that? Where are we going to fit the bling? I don't know. No, I don't because I've picked some big ass stones as well. I know. So they won't be going on, will they? Basically. Basically. Can I have your hand? Come on. Clients do that, don't they? They just think they can have the hands back. Hello. For the time that you're here, the hands belong to me. Your hands are mine. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to get clear acrylic and we're going to encapsulate now. Nice big juicy bead. And this is when the clients get all confused. Anyway, I aren't confused. You're not confused, no, but you know, like, if you don't do something like this a lot, they're like, what are you doing? So if your room is really warm, it will set a little bit quicker. If it's too cold, then you're going to have the reverse effect. And you could get crystallisation. If your product starts to crystallise, then you <coughs> are in a room that's way too cold. And also <coughs> primer, you know, your primer for your acrylic, if it's too cold, the primer will crystallise in the pot. It's mad when you see it. But like, as soon as it gets a little bit warm, it just goes back to normal again. So don't think it's ruined, you know, ruined. Or broken. Ru or ruined. Ruined. Don't think it's, you know, defective. It will go back to normal. So we've encapsulated. You want to make sure it's all encapsulated. So as I look out from the side, I want to make sure I don't have any dips.
So this is the point you want to make sure that your structure is laid in, you've got your apex in the right place, and always think about where you're going to place your 3D. You know, ideally, if you've got a big flower, put it in the place where your apex is going to be, and then, you know, you've got enough room for it, and you've got enough room to put your clear layer on. Or if you're fae, and you're like a fapex, a fapex, then you're absolutely fine. Yeah. Hey, Fry, come. Did your belly touch your bum? Did you That'd be... Can you tie him in a bow? Does your belly touch your bum? How can your belly ever touch you your never... bum? Well, it depends how big your belly is, isn't it? Yeah, but that's like... It's on the other side of your body. <laughs> no. It's do your boobs and glow, do the wobble, do and pro. Can you tie him in a knot? Can, can you tie him in a bow? Can you turn him on your shoulder like a continental yeah, that's a different song. Can I'm you turn him what? Can you what? <laughs> Come on, think it again. I, I need the full lyrics on this. Come on, <laughs> tell me again. Do, do you move and glow? Do the wobble to and fro? Can you tie him in a knot? Or can you tie him in a bow? Or can you throw him over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your boobs and glow? <laughs> we used to sing, we used to go Anglesey Caravan. My granddad, my nana granddad, um, and we used to sing on the way in the car. We used to sing. Um, there were ships, sh there were chips, chips as big as as big as battleships in the stores, in the stores. <laughs> we sing. There was a drum, drum as big as mommy's bum in the stores, <laughs> in the stores. <laughs> my eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. I have not brought my specs with me. And then we go on to the next thing. Oh no. But the mum, mum, as big, the drum as big as Always mommy's bum. Always made you laugh. That, we made that one up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it's your turn now. Mm. You make one up. Mm. We were like, drop, drop, <laughs> as big as mum's bum <laughs> in the stores. Absolutely silly. And we used to sing, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll Did be you coming do round the mountain when she comes. <laughs> she'll be coming round the mountain, coming round the mountain, coming round the mountain when she comes. Singing, I, I, yippee, yippee, I, yeah! <laughs> yeah, me, my brother and my auntie Claire, we used to go to town singing all that kind of nonsense. Right, one's hands needs a right good filing. A right good filing, it does. So you pinch these, don't you? Understand why you pinched some them? Some of them didn't, some of them did. Right, so. Right, so, right, so. We're going to use this 150 grit file just because I've got it out and I've already used it on you. <laughs> <laughs> and you almost couldn't stop talking then. You were going really quick. And I know, <laughs> yes. And, really uh, fast I'm very eager to get these done because I can't skin. wait. <laughs> Yes, require you that have skin. <laughs> require the skin, do you? Doesn't like, not that you need it. Not mouth. that you need it for the photos. Yeah, I don't want to cut you. I'm just doing the side walls quickly because I might go over with the e file. Twenty-five. Woo! Twenty-five. Twenty-five for life. So we're on speed 25. I'm just going to go over with the file just to remove any bulk. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> you make that look very easy. Yeah, I've had a go with that. Went mm. round the world and back. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Careful skin! Sorry, no, I was being serious. No, I was actually being serious, you know I was. No, was it going to eye? 
Has it got in your eye? It's got them in your eyes. That's <laughs> fine. If you've got a client that's really fussy about you getting uh, your nail file around the cuticles, use this secret weapon bit and you can just get around with that. I go other, far with a little help. Other than that, if you've got the client that, you know, is really sensitive around <laughs> the cuticle. I'm not sensitive. You could just not do them. No, absolutely not. Do not not do that. You could just say, I'm fully booked, sorry. <laughs> oh, you mean the client, not the cuticle. Yeah. Like, oh, just no, like cuticle. yeah, just, just, just I'm not about the clients. I don't mean not the, the cuticle needs doing. The problem you've got is, I went past being a client a long time ago. I know. The only person to I blame think... for that is you. Just why, why is it my fault? Well, well I didn't accept I me as a think... friend. <laughs> You could have been like, absolutely not, Felicia. You, you accepted me as a friend, though, as well. <laughs> Did so. I? Yeah. Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that the camaraderie still isn't lost. I know. Let's wipe over with some clean-up solution. I love this, though. You can oh, you can see the flowers coming through. I love it. Right, OK, so you want some bling. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use the Totalis, which is what I always use. I want some here. Nice big juicy lello one there. What's a nice big juicy pink one there? I know you think I put the the um, gems around the cuticle quite a lot, but the thing is, when you've got so much going on on a nail, you don't want to detract from it too much, so putting them around the cuticle kind of frames it, you know, it gives it a frame and it doesn't take away from what's going on. Almost on like putting nail. a picture out. No, a frame around a picture. Exactly. You won't put the frame over the picture, otherwise you won't be able to see the picture. Exactly. Not the nail on the What she said. Right, so, right, so, it's time for top coat. I'm in love with these. These are so pretty. I'm so glad that Faye is back in the building. And when I say back in the building, I mean like the true Faye with long nails, beautiful canvas to be able to create lovely nails is back. Where have you been? Oh, yeah, skiing. How was skiing? Were you good? Yeah, we were really good. Yeah, you need like, turn how many times about you fall it. Over? Not many. Like how many is not many? Mm, twice. Falling's part of it though. <laughs> twice. <laughs> twice. Did I get there twice? Did you get stuck on one of those things that takes you up the mountain? No, we did good on them. The chair lift. Can I just say, this is the best bit. What, finishing them? Finishing them, Faye's going now. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> put that in. The top coat, because you can see the, we've embedded. Have you not thought that you might need to create a longer? Um, that's one of the longest ones out there. Out, joke, not everybody's got nails as long as you're off, are they? Just saying. You haven't seen put any on. Look underneath your nails. Just show everybody underneath your nails, please. Please. <laughs> Just look. She says I've put no oil underneath the nails. Look, no oil. Have you seen the lashings of oil that's under Lash there? Well, like that word. Lashings. Lashings. That you deserve. <laughs> no, that's a thrashing idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Very nice. The only thing when you do 3D, 3D and then encapsulate it, you lose it's 3D, and it's like... No, it still looks 3D! Oh no, I know it does, but at the same time it just looks like a painting, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. looks like you it looks like it's on the water, it's almost an illusion. I, exactly, yeah, it's just so weird. But I love it, I think it's great. Yeah, I love them too. I'm really chuffed. I'm glad she's back, and I'm glad everybody's happy, and I am glad I'm going home now. Well, you've uh, got to do photos, yes. Yeah, that takes longer. Than doing the nails um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed Faye being back with her big long ass nails um if you've got anything else that you want us to do just comment below 
And have you been skiing? Have you got some tragic things that have happened when you've been skiing? Or have you got some amazing things happen when you've been skiing? Have you ever broke a nail at skiing? <laughs> no, I mean, not, not Faye because she had short nails. Uh, but yeah, she's back now. So yeah, I hope mm. you're happy. Mm. Um, everything I've used today will be listed below as it always is. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will see you in the next video. I love you all. Thank you for joining us. See you soon. ta duck! Hey, people, Matt, well, listen to me. You, mm. How do you know? People you know. People might want to boot me in. How do you know? What, is a test of their f***ing patience? <laughs> <laughs> no. The sirens. That's just the sound of fear breaking a nail five, five miles away. <laughs>